so hello guys welcome to the channel so we have already covered the bridge network in our previous video so before watching this video you can watch that video first so the bridge network uh, will be more clear to you so in this video we will talk about the host and the overlay networks so first let's see what is host network so in host network we can directly connect our container to the host machine. So basically in this network, our host's IP address is directly attached to the container's IP address. And also there is a note here, the port mapping is discarded because you are using your host machine's port directly. So basically the host networking driver only works on the Linux hosts and is not supported on docker desktop for mac or docker desktop for windows currently we are on windows so we can't use the host network in our windows system but we can create a host network and we can see the difference between the default or the host network so uh, so basically here is the host network it is our host and our containers are directly connected to the host and getting the IP address from the host machine. So let's go to the console and create a host network. So first let's check our host machine's IP address, IP config. And here you can see my IP address. Now first let's create a container without specifying any network. So docker images and uh, docker run minus it and uh, this image and bash into it. So our container is now created. So now let's check the IP address of this container host name minus i so here the ip address of our this container is 172.17.0.2 so now let's create a container and uh, connect it to the host network and let's see what's the difference between the default container or the host network container so docker images and uh, docker run minus it and here mention the network that is host and the image name and bash so we are now connected to the container and now let's check the ip address of the container so here you can see the ip address is now totally changed 192.168.65.4 and here previously our container gets the ip address that is 172.17.0.2 so basically this container gets the ip address from my host machine you can see 192.168 and here also 192.168 so both have the same subnet classes so in this way docker host network works so with docker host network your container is directly connected to your host machine so next we have the overlay network so basically overlay networks connect multiple docker daemons together and enable swarm services and containers to communicate across nodes so where you can see a uh, docker overlay network is used to connect multiple hosts right now we are having only one docker daemon you can see here a uh, docker desktop so when any container from host one needs to communicate with the container of the host two, overlay network helps them to communicate so basically overlay network is used by large organizations where there are multiple systems and there are multiple docker daemons running on the systems so when the daemons need to communicate with each other they use the overlay network so we will demonstrate this overlay network in our upcoming videos when we learn about the swarm services for overlay network you have to be familiar with the swarm services so when we cover the swarm services after that we will cover the overlay network so that's it for now 
in next video we will cover the other network i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching